Hi, welcome to one of the pre-builds of uh, Arch Labs 5.0. We are more or less re arriving at a stage where it's going to be the final one, the final release, final build, so pre-build for 5.0. And I wanted to make a tutorial about i3 actually. So we're going to exit Openbox. So we need one of those and logout is the best one. And I want you to remind you that up here you have to decide what you need because as of now r2d2 has two desktop environments you can choose between i3 and open box and it's up to you to decide up here in the right corner top corner that's where you decide what you want to have if you decided in calamaris to auto log on auto login well then you'll always start with open box can change that it's in, in etc uh, open uh, the lightium.conf file and there you can say auto session is gonna be i3 for the rest of my life so that's up to you um, anyway so if you don't if you want to keep using open box you just do auto login and then you'll always arrive in the open box and you forget about i3 but if you want to try it out so this is the way you do it how to do it you go in here there and let's go and start with our tutorial now I do have also a tool to show you guys that uh, what keys I'm pressing and it's not installed yet so let's do that together as well first off what do we get we get workspaces we get here one two and eight one two and eight I am now my cursor is at the bottom left okay um, first we're gonna get our information and information can be found at Eric the was github I have I need to have my scripts so I'm gonna get them Arch Labs nemesis as always and is always and will always be the place to be after my installation then I go to here then I switch so I'll tell what I do I press super 3 so the one we're at desktop 3 now and I press super enter I have my terminal and I say clone me whatever it is you're having maybe I want to have a nice place <laughs> clean place and I say first make directory data and change the directory to data so now I am in home Eric data and it's here I want to have my clone which is a copy from the internet Control shift V and everything that I have you have now on your system so ls this is a directory so you can go inside it and I press tab and the only thing I'm doing all this is to see how you move about and ls minus l it might be interesting or ls minus aux might be good and what I wanted to install for you to see what I'm pressing is the name install screen key little program that's very handy for tutorials as you know i3 is really a um, keyboard driven system so it will be come in handy if you know some keyboard shortcuts like super shift D and then I start my new program that I've just launched it's down here to the right preferences settings okay the way I like it and so so now when I press ctrl alt you'll see what I'm pressing better isn't it so that's how I proceed that's how you install I could have gone the easy way um, but I try I thought why not do it the other way so I could have gone to 8 here workspace 8 ctrl H I could have done create folder data and then inside this data folder right mouse click open terminal and then type git clone and press again like so and enter which I'm not gonna do since I have it already super shift Q is deleting that terminal all right in the meantime we've seen a lot of things actually and what did happen so we started our system i3 has been started and why is this all popping up well in number two 
we have here a um, genie and genie can open anything with a file so this is a file and it's actually the one I need to have let's navigate to it so if you don't have it over there then you should go to dot config to i3 and this is the heart and the brains of your system of i3 so in the folder config i3 config anything that's gets uh, that's that's wrong that's that's um, a problem he'll pop up a red line at the top and say well there's an error you might have forgotten uh, anything really so as it is now it's correct so you, if you screw it up your code no problem just go to the github get back the code copy paste and you're up and running again okay so this is actually the reason why everything works the way it does yes it is and let's look for the things that start up so control find i don't know if we can find it like that start up there are a lot of startup and uh, startup applications maybe find again no sorry so we'll have to go over it and find out where these things are and here they are so the tray applications are started up here and the application the user applications like for instance what i'll do is i'll execute spotify as well and it's going to be on workspace 10. So this is the Arch Labs genuine version of the config. What it'll do is a startup Vivaldi snapshots. It's going to be in workspace one. It's going to start up Genie in workspace two and to an R or file manager in workspace eight. And that's all it does. If you want to uh, run GIMP, for instance, which is super F4, uh, that's GIMP loading, loading for the first time. How ugly is that? what you do windows single mode and done much better windows shift q it's gone again super f4 and there it is again so it's that easy super f3 another program there it is let's get rid of this one so windows shift q and q and that's better to work if that's not enough place you can as well go to um super f which is the f for full screen so you have the complete inkscape for the complete uh, screen voila also a nice little shortcut and where are these shortcuts how do i know these shortcuts well first off super f4 here are some important shortcuts so these things are there to help you it's not normal that you have an i3 a conky they are there for you to see that there is a way out of i3 <laughs> super x there super x says get out so super x and then you see down here you can lock it log out suspend hibernate reboot it's just a letter press it and done escape super shift q we've done that stop applications stop i3 wm and super shift e well stop is uh like so we can still decide whether we want to stop or not exit so we're not going to do that if you change something in a config file super shift r so reload is the way i remember it the r if nothing has changed but that's the effect you get you get back to you get thrown back to workspace one okay let's delete a bit uh, stuff here well we only have this available nothing else just this memory 342 megabytes nothing nothing and super fast you just check them out there are a lot of things um, things have changed the way you want them the way you expect it you're an open box user you're an arch labber so what you do you press alt f3 the same menu is an open box alt f2 works great then super f11 there it is, Rofi or Super F12 Rofi again. We've done already the Super Shift D. So you normally should feel a bit at home because of the same shortcuts we're using in open box. Okay, I guess that is already a nice intro 
and how to move about and uh, use it. A lot of shortcuts you have to check out if we want to run our file manager, uh, sorry, our uh, genie. There is, I thought this one, no, that's, well, let's go over the shortcuts because I don't know all of them. So Super W is our Google Chrome. And um, I thought, what was it again? E, Super E, or Control Shift, Control Alt E. As you see, I don't know all these shortcuts. What I just wanted to do is go to Genie, Enter. And then you what? You wait and you wait and you wait and say this this system is broken. This system is so broken. What did I provide? Well, look down here. Every program, and let's go down there as well. Every program has been um, put on a specific workspace. Workspace related. So if you launch browsers, you always open a browser on number one. It's not there. Sure it is. Control Alt F. Firefox wants to import a lot of stuff. Nope. And there you are. And it's working on workspace one. So that's all set in here. Vivaldi, Chromium, all everything, every internet browser goes to workspace one. Every editor goes to workspace two. Inkscapes to three. GIMP to four. Melt to five nitrogen and everything related to pictures to five VLC is all the media stuff movies virtual boxes for seven file managers always an eight nine all the mail things and ten is all the music so that's the way how it's been organized and that's the way how it can be your organization first try it for a few months and if you say no nah, it's not my thing then try fixing some elements some shortcuts and so on but first i think if it's the first uh, time you're using i3 better use what we have already and figure out your way around it because it's again the, the, the charm of the mystery in this i3 of course and you'll notice that it's very fast it doesn't use up uh, your cpu it doesn't use a lot of memory so the only thing now is figure out how it works go through this code and see why, for instance, here we have the variety shortcuts. Let's go to Super 5 and let's change it. So, Alt arrow to the right, Alt arrow to the right, Alt arrow to the right. That's a nice one to have. So, wallpapers do exist here in i3. And why? Because we have these gaps. We can press and enter. And we see here through, through the terminal termite we can see still a nice beautiful wallpaper and change it in the meantime as many times as we like so um, my advice is go and check this code and try it one by one and see what this button does what that button does like for instance we were looking for this control find genie how and what and, and what is to be known about Genie. So it's going to be started, fine. And here it is, mod F2. So mod is actually super and quite important. I should have mentioned that before, but it's all up here. So it's defined, it's a variable. The mod variable is actually super key. So every time you see a mod, you will mod that is actually super. So super F2 and there is Genie. On, F2, on workspace to nowhere else so now i have two things open a little bit cramped here so i'm gonna delete this one and that's how fast it goes and delete again and so on i'll make another separate tutorial about monitors there are people with one monitor no problem there are people with two monitors that's a problem then you should know a little bit about this thing and but it's explained there and we'll do it separately that's maybe best go check it out i'm gonna scroll through it what's important for you to know things can float or can things can be uh, 
uh, fix like this one that's that's tiling but you can also say i want to to make it floating so now it's floating it's just somewhere in the middle and we can drag it around or with uh, what was it again super we can push it around and that's fine that's possible too it's not very i3 like i mean tiling like this is tiling but sometimes it's nice to just pop it out and put it in the middle nice picture screen fetch done so we can do a lot of stuff and this is what this thing says here if you find anything or program gpix then floating is enabled hmm. okay so gpix i'm running it oh yeah it's it's not tiled it's it's Changeable, you can resize it, I can move it if I press a super key. Oh okay, so that is that means this line that it's floating, or you say floating disabled. So that's that. Some music buttons play next fra uh, pause and so on. Backlight. Haven't been able to test this, I don't have a backlight. Uh, but maybe someone can give me feedback if this is okay. And I'll leave you for the rest to discover the rest of it. I'll make a separate tutorial about this one, which is the panel, the bar at the bottom. And um, well, enjoy i3. I'll make many more tutorials about i3, but this gives just an overview. Have fun.